Hey, what's up fam? Today, you're gonna be cooking with your boy, cooking with Manual Focus, and today we're gonna be making an absolutely classic hamburger helper. Now, we're going lasagna style. This is gonna be an easy one pot meal, budget friendly, inexpensive, and you can cook it in 30 minutes, and it's flavorful. Hey, this right here will have you in the game. And I already got me a little, a bite of it. Now that's delicious. Hey, let's go down to this workstation. Let me quick tease you so you can get in the game and make this absolutely delicious hamburger helper. All right, fam, let's go ahead and get this recipe started. Hey, we going in with our ground beef. Hey, we use an 80-20 in this recipe. So fam, we're going in about a pound and a half of ground beef. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions in to the mix. And the detailed ingredients will be in the description box below so you can follow along. And while we brown our meat, we'll allow that grease from that meat to help these onions soften. So we'll kill two birds with one stone. And we're working over medium high heat. And with these recipes here, man, I'm going back to the childhood, right? You know, bringing some nostalgia. Hamburger helper, easy one pot meal. And this is budget friendly, you know, for college students. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that want to make like something absolutely delicious and you know, don't want to put in a lot of money. Hey, this right here is going to have you in the game. So like I said, we'll brown this meat and this will take a couple of minutes, about, you know, seven minutes or so, or however long it's going to take for your stove to brown this meat. So don't rush it. Hey, take your time. And like I said, these onions are going, you know, render down as we cook this ground beef. And as you can see right here, they're already getting softened. So you can skip a step, put everything in there, and then you'll be in the game, fam. All right, fam, it's been about five minutes and this ground beef is brown. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain this grease right here. Now you can go with a leaner beef if you like, like 93.7, and you won't have like all of this grease or whatnot. But I'm gonna leave some in there, I'm not gonna drain all of it. So we'll see you guys in a little bit and then we are gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So we got that ground beef drained. So now we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients and you're gonna see me, hey, I switched to that wooden spoon. Cause if you remember, hey man, hamburger helper always had that wooden spoon. So we going in with a little garlic and I'm gonna cook this garlic until it becomes fragrant. While that garlic becomes fragrant, I'm gonna go ahead and season this ground beef. We're going in with some salt. Then I'm gonna hit it with some ground pepper. I'm going in with some Italian seasoning, some paprika. Going in with a little bit of red chili flakes. Give us a nice little stir. And from that garlic, your house should be smelling absolutely delicious or your dorm room, wherever you're cooking fam, should be smelling absolutely delicious. Like I said, this lasagna hamburger helper comes along very quick it's an easy one pot meal you in the game fam i'm gonna go ahead and add my marinara sauce so we're gonna go with about three cups worth and then we're gonna hit it with some beef broth we're gonna go in about two cups of beef broth now this is gonna be you know used for those pasta noodles that we're gonna use and then fam we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream to this party and then we'll get everything mixed in damn this is gonna be absolutely delicious fam hey hit me in the comments let me know what's your favorite hamburger helper you know i know some people they get bougie when they get a little bit of money right they forget all about the easy you know what i'm saying those delicious meals that we had growing up but me fam i'm gonna keep it real a hey, anytime any day i'll roll with that hamburger helper all right fam we going in with our pasta shells these those bow tie pasta shells this whole box of it so like i said we'll get everything mixed in and i'm gonna add just a little bit more of beef broth again i want to make sure that these you know what I'm saying? Pasta shells get cooked all the way. So you want to make sure that it's submerged, right? So we'll add some more beef broth in here just to get a little bit more volume. And it's going to hydrate these pasta shells. And what we'll do is we'll let these simmer. So we'll get everything submerged or semi-submerged so they can cook. 
and you want to come back and occasionally stir this just to make sure everything is like mixing and incorporated in so we're gonna put our lid on we're gonna let this lasagna hamburger helper simmer for about 15 minutes or so like i said occasionally stir this and you'll be in the game fam all right we're gonna give this a, another stir fam this is smelling absolutely delicious man and look at that sauce right there hey yes sir hey once these bow tie pastas they cook al dente because you don't want them to be mushy once they become al dente hey all we got to do is add that cheese on there man we're gonna be in the game all right fam so it's been about 12 minutes and this is looking absolutely amazing fam sauce is perfect and what i want to do is i want to you know taste and see where we are make sure our you know pasta is cooked where it needs to be and then just taste that sauce and fam we're almost there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add me a little bit more pepper and a little bit more salt and then again you're gonna salt and pepper the taste fam and what i tell you is you can always season up but you can't season down And we'll get at another mix, but that bow tie pasta is cooked to perfection. Hey fam, let's get us another quick taste and cheers. All right, fam, we on the money. Seasoning is just right. Now we're in the final stages of this. Now we gotta finish this off, and this is the part that I absolutely love, and that's adding that cheese. So I'm going in with some mozzarella cheese. For that old so ooey and gooey hamburger helper. Back. And then we're gonna put this top back on here and let that cheese melt. And then we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, fam, it's been about five minutes and look at this right here. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, that cheese is melted. And fam, we in the game. So we gotta do just a couple more things. And this is just dressing it up. And hey, we're going to add a little bit of parsley on top just to give it a little color, right? For the thumbnail. And you can make this optional if you like. And then what I'm going to do, fam, is I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese on top of this. Yes, sir. And fam, there you have it. You got your absolutely delicious lasagna. Hamburger helper. You already know what we gotta do. Hey, we gotta get us a taste test. Hey, take a look at this right here. Yes, sir. Wee. Cheers, fam. Mm. Now that, that is absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go back in for another bite of this and look at that cheese right there. Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are in the game. Now, if you're new to my channel and you found value in this content, hey, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, turn on that bell so you get the notifications as well. Hey, don't forget to like and share it with your friends and your family. Now, for the Focus family that's been rolling me for a while, you already know what I'm about to do. I'm about to smash into this hamburger helper lasagna, and I'm about to roll out. Peace.